Hey guys, so today I will be showing you how you can play Nintendo 3DS games like Pokemon Alpha Sapphire on your iPhone and iPad. The method shown in this video allows you to play these demanding games smoothly by enabling just-in-time compilation. By default, GIT is disabled on iOS devices due to Apple's policies. Thus, I will also show you how to use GIT compilation on supported apps. You will just be needing access to a Windows PC or a Mac system for the initial setup. I will demonstrate the steps on a Mac machine, but Windows users can also follow along as most of the steps should be similar. Just follow the instructions corresponding to Windows on Site Store's website and download the corresponding Windows files. Alright, so just open up any web browser and go to sitestore.io. Click on Get Started and download the files listed there which includes Allstore, Sitestore, IPA and Jitterbug Pair. You would then have to install Allstore on your PC or Mac by following the instructions on the website. I have already installed it on my machine so I will be skipping this step. Next, you will connect your iPhone or iPad to your Mac via data transfer cable. You should then see a prompt on your Mac as follows, so just click on allow. For that, you will have to click on trust when you see a similar prompt on your iPhone or iPad. So now hold down the option key on your keyboard and click on the all server icon in the menu bar. Select sideload IPA option from the options and select your device from the list. Now in the file dialog box select the site store IPA file which you have already downloaded. It should then ask you to log in with your Apple ID account details. So just enter your accurate details and don't worry about it, it's completely safe to do so. Wait for a few minutes and then you will see a notification that site store was successfully installed. Alright, now we will get on our iPad and navigate to Settings, General, VPN and Device Management and approve Trust the developer link to our Apple ID. After doing that, we will scroll down to Privacy and Security and scroll down to the bottom of the list until we find the option of developer mode. Just click on it and turn it on. Note that you would be asked to restart your device after making this change. So just restart your iPhone or iPad after this. For the third step, we will be creating a pairing file using the previously downloaded jitterbug pair.zip file. Before doing this, ensure that your device is connected to your computer via the cable and ensure it is unlocked and home screen is opened. Now, if you get any error running the executable in the next step, on your Mac go to Settings, Privacy and Security, scroll down to Security and you should hopefully find the blocked application over there. Just allow enable it and try running the executable again. As shown, just unzip the file and just run the executable on the terminal while your phone or iPad is still connected. It should then generate a pairing file with the extension .mobile device pairing. Zip this file before transferring it to your iPhone or iPad. Otherwise, it will not work if you directly transfer the file. I will then transfer the zip file to my iPad using AirDrop. Wait for the transfer to complete and unzip the file on the iPad. Once that is done, find the site store app on your iPhone or iPad and upload the unzipped pairing file when prompted. Just note that you might have to go through this pairing process again if you decide to update your device. Now we need to download Stoss VPN on our iPad which basically creates a local network tunnel. Once that is downloaded, just open it and make sure to have it connected before using site store.
now we'll open site store and sign in with our apple id which we use to install site store It's important to refresh site store for the first time. So wait for it to refresh. Now I will be using this emulator called X1 which is able to play Nintendo 3DS games along with some other Nintendo platforms. Uh, I will try to link the telegram channel in the video description. You can download the IPA file from their telegram channel and then sideload it on your iPhone or iPad using site store before that we will share the zip file to our ipad using airdrop make sure to unzip the file on your ipad and then open site store application again go to the my apps section as shown and click on the left plus icon at the top left side here you just select the IPA file from the list. Now X1 emulator is successfully installed on our device. We will open the app store again and download the stick debug application which will enable JIT in supported apps. Here again select the pairing file which you have already unzipped from the previous step. Once that is done to enable JIT just open skip debug hit connect and select your application from the list. In this case I have selected my X1 emulator. You can check the internet sources on how to obtain the game ROM file and then transfer it to corresponding folder in X1 as shown in the video. It should go into 3DS and inside that it should go into the ROMs folder. If you open X1, now you can see that the game ROM is visible. You can click on it to play the game. Make sure that you see GIT enabled symbol once the game launches. As you can see the game is running quite smoothly all thanks to JIT. And now you can enjoy any Nintendo 3DS games or any other emulator games on your iPad or iPhone. Thanks for watching. Enjoy. If you connect the controller, it can be either Sony PlayStation 5 controller or Xbox 360 controller. Then these on-screen GUI elements will not be visible anymore and you can uh, experience better gameplay. That's all from my side. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.